السلام عليكم أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا بكم Welcome back to your favorite grammar guide channel We will discuss on the Arabic grammar So we are still in the Arabic pronouns We have discussed on the first person pronoun We have discussed also on the second person pronoun That of the aspect of the muzakkar Which is the aspect of the masculine Where we talked on anta, antuma and antum and how you use it also so this second person pronoun initially i told you that they are divided into six so three are for masculine and three are for feminine so we're looking into the aspects of the feminine of the mokhotob yes mokhotob means the one that is being addressed or being spoken to so for the feminine we have anti when you are talking to a female that is in front of you, you use anti. And when they are up to two in number, you use antuma, which still means you. Well, it is the dual aspect of the anti. Then the plural is antuna, that is when they are above two. When they are above two in numbers, you use antuna for them, which means all of you. Now, examples for the anti and how you use the anti, you say something like Kefa anti. By using anti, it is understood that you are referring to a lady in front of you. You can also say something like anti Jamilatun. You are beautiful. This is being addressed to someone in front of you for a female. And you also have here Antuma. If you notice, Antuma is also the same thing for that of the masculine. So for the masculine and the feminine, their dual aspect is the same. You can also say men Antuma for a female that you are resting when they are up to two. Antuma Muslimatani. Antuma Muslimatani are the two of you Muslims. While the examples for Antuna, which is the plural aspect of the anti, we have men Antuna. Men Antuna, who are you? When you are referring to a number above two, and we have in Aina Antuna. So leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Like and share my videos so as to be of benefit to others. And finally, before I forget, subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on the beauty of the Quran by understanding your Arabic grammar. Jazakumullah khair as you do so.